Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. So in today's video I'm going to be working on my Felt 720Q mountain bike. It's a hardtail mountain bike. I bought it on eBay and it just needs a bit of TLC. So in this video I'm going to be cleaning it up and replacing some of the componentry. So to give you a quick tour of the bike, um, it's a hardtail Felt Q720. I'm not sure how old it is. I think it's about 10 years maybe. If anyone knows, perhaps they could post in the comments. It's got Rock Shots Dart Forks. Um, they seem to work quite well. Um, it just needs a bit of TLC, really. If you look at some of the uh, decals, they've got a lot of grime on them. I have cleaned it up since I bought it, but I'm going to see if I can clean it up a bit nicer today. Uh, it's just odd things, like it hasn't got a quick release from the saddle. So I've bought a quick release skewer and clamp for the saddle. Um, it's got odd bolts on the bottle cage and the bottom one's rounding off so I've bought some bolts to replace those. Um, the controls need a lot of work. If you look at the brake levers, the paint's worn off. Um, these, these are functional but they're just not that nice where they've obviously taken a bit of a beating and the brake levers need replacing so I bought new brake levers. The grips aren't that great either, they're kind of odd, they're not really my, what I would choose. Uh, they're a bit of an odd wedge shape, um, also they're a bit grimy from when the previous owners had them, so I'm going to replace the grips, I'm going to replace the handlebar because it's rusty, and actually it's been slipping around in the stem, so um, I'm thinking maybe a bit of oil or something's got in here, and I don't know if I need a new stem, but if I do, do need a new stem I'll have to order one. Um, so yeah, today just a bit of a clean up, I'm going to see if I can service the disc brakes and get them working, it's got haze, uh, just cable disc brakes, they, they work and they stop the brake but they're not that effective, um, this is actually the first mountain bike I've owned with disc brakes, so back when I used to do a lot of mountain biking, uh, we used to have V-brakes, so interesting to have disc brakes, I'm going to replace the pads on them and then uh, obviously degrease these discs because they're a bit greasy which is probably why they're not working very well um, hopefully with a bit of degreasing and some new pads they'll work a bit better it's mainly got a Shimano uh, Dior kind of group set and various bits so not a bad bike um, I bought it just so I could ride a few trails locally and um, just get out on a bike again, especially in lockdown. I've been doing a lot of running and I think now I just want to get out a bit further and do a bit of mountain biking. Um, future upgrades I'd like to make to the bike is it's got this really horrible gel saddle that the previous owner put on. It's actually quite comfortable but it's not very, it just doesn't look like a mountain bike saddle, it just looks like a wide sort of comfortable saddle that you can get more on sort of cheaper bikes and so I might replace that although it's functional and it's in reasonably good condition so I might just stick with it a little bit longer. Of course we've got some cheap plastic pedals down here. The bearings are sort of a bit grindy so um, perhaps I'll replace them later as well. Okay so here are the new bits I'm going to be fitting to the bike today. I've got some new red Hope grips. Um, some new Shimano Dior brake levers, new quick release uh, clamp for the saddle, some new brake disc pads, um, and here's some bolts for the bottle cage, and a new handlebar. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do today is clean up the bike with magic sponge, see if we can get some of the dirt off and some of the kind of marks on the frame off with that, and then I'm going to clean it with this bike degreaser. Okay, so I've finished using the magic sponge on the frame. It's got a lot of the in-ground kind of dirt on and sticky marks that um, you can get off very easy otherwise. I've taken off the bottle cage and um, removed this bolt that was kind of rounding off, which is good. I'm now just going to use this WD-40 degreaser and see what this does, because I've not used this before, but it has really good reviews. That's 
coming up quite clean. Obviously gonna have to re-grease all this stuff in this area later. You always get a lot of dirt and grease on here. So the WD-40 degrease has got the cassette quite clean. I'm now just going to use the pressure washer on it. Okay, so I've now degreased and pressure washed everything. It's really important that we get some lubricant back onto the parts that obviously need lubricant. Okay, so here's some of the products I've used. I've used the bike degreaser to get off the old grease. And then use some WD-40 to drive out some of the water. And I've used some cycle lubricant to re-lubricate all the parts that should move. Now it's just a case of leaving the bike to dry and then have a go at fitting the new component tree. Right, I think I'm gonna start with the easiest upgrades first, which is putting on the quick release skewer for the saddle and just putting in these new fossil cage bolts. At least the bolt cage isn't going anywhere now. Okay, for the next step I'm going to put on this quick release skewer. fitted the quick release lever and the bottle cage we have a go at fitting the new brake levers so that means removing the old brake cables and levers first I thought I'd do a quick unboxing on these Shimano BLT610 brake levers these are suitable for mechanical disc brakes and V-brakes so these are brand new I'm hoping they come with cables Ah yes, that's good. Very handy, we've got some nipples, some new cables, some new levers. And some new levers. Let's take off these old cables then. Okay, so I've removed the old cables. Now I just need to remove the grips, remove the old brake levers. I'm gonna reuse the shifters, but I just need to take them off and take the handlebar off. I think I'm gonna cut the grips off, although they might just pull off because they're a bit loose. Chuck these manky old grips in the bin. It's one manky old brake lever. Chuck that in the bin. I mean, yeah, I'll put that in the bin. These, this is the old manky handlebar. Okay, I've got a bit of a slight problem in that this um, stem. It's just not wide enough to clamp around this handlebar, so yeah. 
that does mean I'm going to have to replace the stem though before I can continue. So that's it for today. Just going to get a new stem. One week later. Okay, so it's the following week now, and I've had to buy a new stem and a couple of new spacers, and then hopefully now I can fit on this new handlebar. So this is the new stem. It's just a, a Wake Special off Amazon. Just aluminium. It's quite lightweight. Um, it's nice and short as well, which should be better because I've got a wider bar, so it should be better for control. Take the stem apart and regrease it. It's a good opportunity with replacing the stem just to clean up the forks and regrease the headset. Let's get the old grease off there. So I've put the new stem on, it's, uh, there's a little bit of play in the headset which I'm not too happy with so I think I'm going to take that to a bike shop and have a look at Now I've just got to put the new handlebar on. Okay, so we've got the new wake stem and handlebar on. Next, I think you just need to put the levers and the grips on. So you get the right one. We've got the new hope grips. Thing of putting the grips on is then you can see how far the uh, levers need to be across. I always found with brake levers, I like them to go at the angle of my arm. So now I've fitted the new Dior brake levers, the Hope grips, and the shifters have been put back on the bike. So it's looking very smart. Now I just need to fit the brake pads and do the brake cables. Oh, that's not too bad. Again, that one's actually got a lot of pad left on it as well, so... I've just got to fit the front brake cable. Yeah, probably that is about the right length.
Okay, so here's the finished bike then. Um, it's got the new stem and handlebar on, new grips, new brake levers. I've replaced the pads in the front disc brakes and I replaced the cable inner and outer. I've replaced the pads in the rear disc brake and I've replaced the cable and outer. So now it's all done. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. There's a bit of play in the headset, so I think I might just take it down to my local bike shop and ask them just to check that over. But otherwise, it's all done. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe to the channel.